I've been really busy in the shop this week, but I wanted to try out that Mod T printer a little further. So I used the pink filament that it had, and I produced this. It's an advent ornament with actual mechanical changing numbers, and the mechanisms inside are really interesting. So I'll show you how I made this on today's Filament Friday. Here's the original design I started with. It's called the Life Tracker, and it's by Thingiverse user Meteor Panda. But this thing was really, really interesting to me. So as an engineer, when I see something designed like this, which is the snap for the numbers, I really get excited about it because this is some great design. And I wanted to see how well it works, so just printing this alone was worth it. But I decided to turn this into an advent calendar for the holidays. The original design had three numbers. I only needed two, so I had space to put a new top on, and here's what I did. I made a custom top just by using a cylinder and then putting an edge around it. But the key parts are this little block here that, that blocks off the triangle because I, I cut a slice out of it just so there'd be a view. So it's really just a cylinder with a slice cut out of it. And then the tricky part was I took the original base, I brought it in as an STL file, but made it into a hole and then lined it up to the center of this thing and then brought that post all the way up. So now this disc would pop over the original post perfectly. So then I added the days to Christmas on top and these are just letters that are embossed on top, just placed on top. I don't even remember what, what height. I think it was uh, two millimeters tall. I could have made them a little more blocky as it turned out, but overall it worked out really good. And then once I grouped them together, I had a nice cover. So now I need to redo the base. And this was again easy. I brought that piece in that I used to cut the hole and I combined it with a cylinder. I'll just bring the cylinder in to show you what I'm talking about. But I resized it and merged those two together. And then I brought the star in and merge that centered to them. You can see here's the star and all I did was drop the top of it down till it was below the block or below the, the d cylinder. And then for the hole at the top where there's supposed to be a hook going in and this had a hard time printing which I'll explain in a bit. Um, I just brought in a, a cylinder hole sized at five millimeters by five millimeters and poked it through and that was the base. So the rest of the pieces were really just standard pieces from his original print and now I could put them together the way I wanted. And here, let me show you within Tinkercad how these guys go together. The first piece to assemble is one of those spring clips. And it just goes over that center rectangular post. And then once that's in place, you know, just bump it over a little bit with the arrow keys. Once that's in place, then the wheel can come over the top of that and it should just snap or slide right over these guys. And that'll line up. The pin will just line up with the notches. And then I place another one of these guys on top of that and then place the other numbered wheel around that guy. And it's got its own little snap. So these two snap independently of each other. And then that custom cover I made finishes off the post. It goes down to the top of the post and just press fits in place. And there they are. They're all just snapped together. And you can see there's plenty of space in, inside for the numbers to turn. And that makes up the Advent Ornament. This is the new Matter Mod T printer. I did a review of this a couple weeks ago. And while I still have it in the shop, I wanted to print a little bit more and see how these mechanical parts would come out. And they came out good, including the wheels and the letters. You could read Days to Christmas, but the base. The base I got shifting on. And it didn't print the circle at the top for the hook. Now, when I brought it into the software, there was no indication of this. The sizes looked like everything fit just fine. But when it actually printed, the bed was shifting and hitting and, and I could hear something wasn't right. I let it just finish printing but it chopped off the top of this thing and I even tried rotating it. They've got some tools here to rotate it but it would only rotate at certain degrees and this is a star. It's going to be pretty equal no matter how I do it. So I decided that I, I could try it on MP Select Mini and there it fit perfectly. Plenty of room and then I tried out this metal flake uh, filament that I got from Protopasta as a sample. It looked really, really good. But when I put the two together, I didn't like the pink with the silver. So I either need to print all the pieces in silver, silver metal flake, or just use the pink. So I decided for this, I'd just use the pink and put it together. 
Now, if you're wondering where I got the two colors, it was this simple. I just used the magic marker on the letters. That's all it was. I did the same thing for the numbers on the number wheels. It just was a matter of writing right over the embossment and uh, dabbing where I had to, but it came out nice. The assembly went just as I described earlier in Tinkercad. First the snap mechanism went on and then the number wheel around it. But here's a close-up. Look at this thing working perfectly, snapping right into position. And then the second snap went on on top of that and the second wheel and the dimensions were perfect because it just they work together. One didn't, you know, cause the other to turn. Now my cover was the real question, would it fit? And it did. It fit nice and tight. So all I had to do was test it out and my fingers are too fat so I had to use a little tweezers to move these guys. But I'm happy with the way it turned out. I can definitely improve on the design and I don't like how the base didn't print properly. But this was a, a good experiment. So this isn't the perfect color for a Christmas ornament, but I wanted to test the Mod T a little further on a design like this and just use the filament that came with it. It did a decent job. Now my wife liked this metal flake. She really, really liked this. And she'd like me to do one of these in gold as well. So I'll probably be printing more and I may tweak the design a little bit to make it a little better. But overall, this was fun. That's really what this was. It was fun. It's not real practical, but it was definitely fun. So if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos here. Just click on those and take you right to it. Also, if you want to help support the channel, a dollar a month, just click on the Patreon logo. It goes a long way. And thank you to my Patreon supporters who are scrolling down here. They make all this happen. That's it for this week. I'll see you next time on Filament Friday.